Hello, this morning I'd like to show you around Carag Arogoth, number three from Galad in Traus Finnith. It's in a lovely row of terraced houses, all stone built, retaining their stone facades, none of them rendered up or anything. And there's no other row of terraced houses opposite either, which makes it a much more open aspect and a bit easier on the parking situation. At the end of the road here, about 50 yards away or so is the main A470 and that provides you with great links to Dorgeshlai, Porth Maddock or in the direction of Bala and Betis Akoid as well if you like. Carry on watching, I'll show you around the inside. There's no doubt about it, Karag Arogov has been modernised, but it retains a lot of character. As you come in here, the plants growing up the front and the nice stone wall and iron gate give a character that continues through the property right out to the back garden. In fact, this lovely original slate flagstone front pathway is another feature that continues into the house. As we open the front doorway, you can see the slate flagstone floor continues right through the entrance lobby through this lovely wood grain natural door into the hall. This is where the stairs take you to the first floor. The lounge is in here and out the back here we've got a lovely sitting dining area and kitchen. One of the first things I want to point out is that there's lots of reproduction antique style light switches around the property which add to the character theme. Before I take you through to the lounge, I've got to warn you, there's a lot of mice around this house, but don't worry, they're ornamental. I'll show you a few as we go round, but once you start coming around to view for yourself, start counting up and we'll see who can spot the most of them. In the lounge here, there's a beamed ceiling, lovely alcove cupboards, and this antique cooking range has been checked out and has been used by the current owners as well as a fire. There's also slate flagstone flooring in here too. And another mouse. Look at this stable door in the hallway here. This takes you through to the dining area at the back and straight away you've got the lovely view right down the lake. What with the view of the lake and the natural stone walls in here, there's engineered oak flooring and it opens out, open plan, onto the sun lounge area over here. This sun lounge has got a glazed roof and there's sliding doors that open up to the garden at the back. On the left hand side it's open plan to the kitchen. In here there's a suspended oak floor. It's all been nicely refitted with slate splashbacks and lots of spotlighting. As we go upstairs look out for more mice but when you get to the top of the stairs it reveals this lovely view of the lake through the window which also has a slate sill and stone reveals. Upstairs there's more electric storage heaters and the rear double bedroom has got equally good views across the lake along with a Victorian cast iron fireplace and a window with slate sill and stone reveals. This is the front double bedroom again it's got a pine door and the window has got views across the street beyond the village to hillside. Now whilst this shower room is definitely appointed to a modern standard, it's been cleverly designed to still retain a very traditional appeal to it. So coming out of the shower room here, right above me is this big hatch and there's a retractable ladder up here which takes you up to the loft which has been converted so it's got a boarded floor and a roof window as well. So as we go into the back garden here, it's quite an interesting story really that all the owners of these properties got together just before the millennium and they managed to acquire a strip of land at the back so everybody's got a longer bit of land than normal. Mind you, not all that land is actually classified as garden so there are restrictions on what you can do with the land there. Um, let's go and have a look at the garden but before that we've got an extension up here and you can see that roof on there has also got a long guarantee on it so you shouldn't be getting any problems in the immediate future with that one. It's about midday now you can see the sun's up there and uh, there's plenty of sunshine in the garden. The sun will come round and it will set over there in the evening so you do get the benefit of some really spectacular sunsets here and the scenery has got a skyline of awesome mountains 
including Hebog, and I think the Moilwins are over there as well. In the garden, it's been landscaped with this nice patio area. There's also a really practical storage shed here for bikes and logs and things. This is the bottom part of the garden which has been acquired and you can see there's this mighty ash tree here. Um, it has been checked over and I think it's pretty safe. It certainly looks safe to me as well. Just to the left of the ash tree there, right in the distance, you can see that big concrete monolith. That's Trust Finneth Power Station, but it has now been decommissioned and they're rejuvenating the area as an enterprise zone. And it's definitely the main view right down the lake towards the Rinog Mountains and uh, the scenery beyond the lake that is the constant draw to your eye here. I hope this quick tour around three from Gallard has been of use to you. It's certainly a rare opportunity for something with a lot of character and great views. If you'd like to come and have a look at the house for yourself, please give us a call on the usual number, which is 01341 281 If you'd like to have a video like this made to sell your own house, I'd also be glad to hear from you. And if you'd like to carry on watching other videos that we produce in the future, don't forget to subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel. And there's a link to that at the end of this video. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Andy Sanderson, and I hope to see you up here soon. Bye-bye now.